Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Milk Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Hearts of Iron 4, playing with the History Lies in Our Hands mod for Hearts of Iron 4. So, we, last time we, we reformed the L Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth, annexed and integrated Latvia into our lands, and now we're looking to continue to make Poland, or the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth, great once again. We do have cores on, let's just say, a lot of territory. Which will be a lot of fun, but it'll take time for us to, you know, get there. Also, I do want to just comment yesterday someone said that our spy, 4859, is actually the code number for one of the a more famous Polish spy that was, you know, around during World War II and he did a lot of good stuff for the Poles. Even going into, apparently, uh, a certain type of camp where he got a lot of information. But, if you want to check him out, go check out yesterday's video. And one of the comments is on there about this certain guy whose nickname was Kristania, which is the name of actually our person right here. So, uh, linguist, 12% done. Let's do econ We finished economic acts, which gave us economic laws and a little bit more base stability. And let us do Polish expansion. We need areas to be unrivaled. We get create our own faction with the Polish sphere and unlocks decisions to expand. I love expansion at the cost of everyone else. I love it. And actually, you're Oberschlesen. And then these guys are... Oh, construction too. So, yeah, I know. We need to do a land auction. Grand Paddle Plan's okay. I'm just going to go with Superior Firepower just because I'm so used to it. I know it got a little bit nerfed in patch 1.9, but, you know, whatever. Whatever. Still like to use it. Try it out. That's 1937. What do we need? We could use some artillery. That'd be good. What are we building, though? What do we really need? Lots and lots of guns. Tons of guns. Let's see. I could raise the amount of battalions I use for my infantry divisions, but that hurts our gun supply, and I don't want to hurt it just yet. We don't have quite a stockpile. Actually, we have a deficit, but we do have a stockpile of artillery, which I think this will be okay if we do this. Give us a little bit more breakthrough, just a wee bit more, a little bit more defense. Definitely give us more soft attacks, so I think that'll be very much worth it. Oh, we have more divisions than I thought we did. Ooh, oh, that is not good. That's okay. Let's go ahead and do that then. Oh. There you go. Let's get two at a time. Uh, we're hurt by how much percentage? Ooh, interrogation techniques. And Portugal's having an identity crisis. Great. And we're getting another spy. You know what? I want to wait till one more factory is done before I do another spy thing, we'll say. But that, I was caught off guard a little bit from that. That's not good. But this is coming along very nicely. Very, very nicely. Oh, let's see. We're trying to do... Adventures of Frank Dolas, Samurai Jack, Pink Sheep and Friends, and Bialy Orzet. Also, my pronunciations of these Polish terms is not great, but... Spain, I am nowhere located near you, but you know what? If you need a wee bit of help, sure. We could do My Little Pony, Steven Universe, we could close area, but... Or we could even rewrite the Constitution, but I think we'll be okay. So, Central Europe concept. We need to control Estonia... The Czechoslovak states, Romania, Hungary, Austria, Yugoslavia, Bulgaria, Albania, and all Greek states. And would be known as THE Central Europe. And I get cores on everything. Even Istanbul. Wow. Also, these are the economic laws. Social benefits for the poor, which looks really good for more monthly population if we want that. Public works, where we get less construction speed for more weekly stability. And infrastructure, which is pretty awesome. Place of new works place, which we get... Three civilian factories, two military factories, a naval dockyard mi for minus 20% construction speed for two months, and increases role of army in the economy, which we get more output, we get less infrastructure and civilian factory construction speed, but we get more military and dockyard construction speed as well. So, honestly, these are pretty cool. Seems maybe a little bit overpowered, but I love it. So, so let's select our next national focus. So, we can't do anything to the right of us. Very cool. We can do some dockyard stuff, so, you know, that'd be okay, but we're not really focused on the dockyards too much. We can do air stuff, but we're not really focused too much on air stuff either. We could do standardization of equipment, which is okay. It's okay. I would love to see the, the circle of love strategy sometime. That, that sounds really cool. Four-year plan. It's okay. It's not great. Central region strategy, like I said, it's okay. Eventually we'll complete all this, but I still want to go down this path for now. So, let's go ahead and reconcile with opposition, or opponents. Constant struggle with the opposition will finish us off. We must resolve this conflict by agreement. Absolutely. And it takes a whopping 70 days. Holy cow. But, and this is a huge but, where do I get decisions to expand? Well, we have this. But, uh, oh! Hold on. 
Okay, so now we get a little bit more action. Ooh, increased roll. Well, we're trying to build up civilian economy stuff, but with a little bit of political power, we can send an ultimatum to Estonia, Czechoslovakia, or Romania. How strong are the Czechoslovaks right now? And you know what? Instead of having spies in Germany, I love spying on Germany. I think it's a great country to spy on. I could risk it by going to war with these guys, but I want to go with Romania first. Let's go ahead, though. And let's send an ultimatum to Estonia, just because they're pretty pretty small. I think we can take them. You know, we could we took out the Latvians, we took out the Lithuanians. Let's take out the Estonians next, which might be a bad idea. They, these guys, the Czechoslovaks, Czechoslovakia, has a good amount of manpower. We don't know how many divisions they have, but uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. We only have 49 factories ourselves. And does this take like a week to do? Send an ultimatum? And let's do it anyways. Okay, so they rejected it. They sent an answer to our ultimatum, in which they have rejected subjugating them as part of our policy of domination in the Central Europe. These fools don't know how terrible a mistake they've made for insulting our country and the Marshal. If that's going to be like everything else, I'm just going to go ahead and just do both Czechoslovakia and Romania. Maybe we'll get one, luckily. Ah, Romania! Romania! Ah, yes! Oh, very good. Although they may have one's feet on the ground, this situation doesn't apply just to annex Romanian territories in the future. Very good. And, of course, the Czechoslovaks have rejected us. Fools. Oh, Japanese People's Republic was annexed. Oh, well, you're discussing purple again, Japan. Why are you purple? This is a fun mod. And Spain's still having a good time. Let's give our guys a little bit more organization. We have dispersed industry. Very good. Very nice. I do think we will need some synthetic fuel eventually. Let's go, we can go ahead and do that. We only have three research slots. New series of comics. Ooh. Comic magazine Studio Jan, Jan released today the first issue of the new comic Adventures of Frank Dolasa, which sells very well in Poland, but nobody buys abroad. Oh, come on, man. Eventually, we will be abroad. Poland will be everywhere. Division defense on core territory. New series of comics, same thing. So as well in Poland, the Biali Orzel. God dang, that's really good to do. Uh, <coughs> um, I like the ultimatums, but uh, I don't know if Poland would really want to have that type of solution there. Oh, wait, I can annex them? For 30 days? Holy crud. Oh my goodness. Oh my this is so overpowered. This is beautiful. Uh, I would love to annex them now, but I'm going to go ahead and use their divisions first, probably, and help take out Czechoslovakia. Uh, 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 hmm. At the same time, let's do that to Bulgaria and Yugoslavia. We have 50. I can do... Oh, let's do Hungary. Hungary would be more important just because it gives a wider range to take out the tail of Czechoslovakia. So, Romania. I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're having a wondrous day. Oh my god, this is overpowered. And I love it. Southern Rom. Now, what are these divisions? You got a couple tanks here, I see. What are these? Eight? Oh. oh. How about your normal infantry? That's not bad. That's like me, but you're actually better than my... You're actually better than my divisions? What the heck? Uh, you only have... Ooh, there's not that many different types of divisions here. Ooh, you, ooh I like that. Royal Guard. This is not bad. I like that a lot. Honestly, I'm going to be annexing you anyways. So just put you both under like a, another field marshal. Do we have anyone important? Yes. Sikorsky. And he's good in defense. Even though I need him to attack. Ah, oh, Bulgaria. Oh, Congri. Both of you. Welcome aboard, my friends. Welcome aboard. You know what? You don't need divisions. I'm just going to go ahead and request everything you have. At a perfect 16 amount. Three right there. Ah, uh, Bulgaria. We'll get, holy, do we get our manpower, political power? 1.76 a day? Oh, my God. Oh, yes. 12 more divisions. Yes. Yes. This is really going to piss off the access. You know what we have to do, though? We have to annex Hungary before it becomes... Wait, wait hold on. Pact of Rome. You are leading a faction by yourself. Austria. Oh, and it's 1937. we got to be prepared just in case Germany wants to annex Czechoslovakia. Ah. I wonder if these guys would be able to push well enough. You know what? With all this political power, we're going to send it to Austria, Yugoslavia, and eventually to Greece. You guys should definitely be ready by now. See, this is what you get 
when you don't listen to the Poles and the Lithuanians. Oh, Yugoslavia, you have made a giant mistake, just like Austria. What a shame. We could have had peace, especially if we have information from time travelers, but whatever. Ooh, civilian reserves. We lose a little bit of efficiency cap. We get 1% more recruitable population in division training time. Huh, that's pretty cool. And let's send the ultimatum to Greece. Oh, military parade. Mobilization speed, daily support for unaligned. Ah, Greece! Welcome to the Union. Welcome, my friend. Oh, Albania? Yes. <gasps> we have another spy. Um, is there spy stuff going on right here? No, there's not. Sismon. Uh, cool. You're doing stuff here. Well, you know what? Since this, all this stuff is going on, just go back to Germany. Do both sides of Germany, or two sides of Germany. That would be glorious. And Estonians. I'll... I'll India, thank you for joining us. Thank you. If this is the case, I'm going to request your divisions as well, just like Albania's. Oh, we're going to need to annex Albania before the the um, Italiano boys desire to have us. 18, not bad, not bad. Go and reform the front line. Oh, what's this? Code artillery. Oh. Hold on, before we go too far, better... Oh, yeah, yesterday, I screwed up, of course. Of course I would. Garrisons. You need that military police company on your bad boys. Let's go ahead and fix that up right now. So, occupied territories, you are going to use garrisons. There you go. Which you're being used, which I love using you. And then we have other normal horses under us, which is still just six combat with whatever, which I need to change out eventually. Uh, we should have zero problems with stuff like this. Local police. I love the local police. And there goes Estonia. Thank you. Which we don't really need to garrison too much, probably. I think that there are cores, right? Oh, no. They're just occupied states. Oh, they're not even my own state. No, no wonder. That's okay. That's okay. No hate against you. Except that you need to be destroyed, but whatever. All right. So what happens? Oh, hold on. They're guaranteed by France. And guaranteed by Yugoslavia. Well, what happens if I go to war with you guys? You're guaranteed by France and Czechoslovakia. That's not good. You know what? That's not bad. You know why? This means Czechoslovakia. You might cause a war between yourself and Germany. That's not bad for us. Austria is not guaranteed by anybody. So, what if we pile drive everyone here into Austria? Not a bad idea. I know, right? Um, fighters, you probably come over there. Do we have any, like, bombers? We got fighters. I don't think we have any bombers. I don't think we're rich enough to afford that type of stuff. But is, we have it on Czechoslovakia, Yugoslavia, and Austria. Uh, why do the French have to gar guarantee these people? It makes no sense. But France, that's okay. We can wait. We are in no rush. Mm, and I like these solutions. But do we have cores on all of Romania? Because I don't want to... Mm, hold on. For, well, for, for Central Europe concept, we need all Czechoslovak states. Austria, Yugoslavia. Eventually, we will have cores. Oh, buddy boy. Do I want to do that right now? <clears throat> or not? Because I won't get cores. I want to use up their manpower first. Let's use up their manpower first before we do anything. I think that'd be good. We can save up our political power for someone else, perhaps. That's not bad. John... Wojtovich, which I, someone told me, apparently your W's in Polish, which sound like V's. Ooh, I would love to do this, elusive gentleman as well. Nationalist publicist. Prince of Terror. I love Princes of Terror. Democracy, no one cares about that type of stuff. Do we get a bonus to like... Yes, yes, yes. I need this type of guy in my life. Mr. Infantry. Let's go on an infiltration mission. That sounds like fun. Do you want to infiltrate them? See what they're doing. Go cool, send them both. Uh, excellent chance. Very good. Oh, we could put... You know what? Let's become spy master of our own faction. And we get, hopefully, more operatives. Oh, we can build more stuff. Yes, please. 70, 60, 60. Uh, I don't want to build stuff too close to this border either. Just because... Uh, you never know what they might do on that side. Let's just put it like that. Ah, two more divisions. Great. Great. Oh, you guys have nothing to do? Well, guard against the Germans, I guess. You know, I might consider annexing, like, Romania, just so I, I can get more 
Oh, I don't really need more fuel. Maybe, probably hungry, actually. What are the resources around hungry? I know it's a lot of aluminum. Is that it? Compliance, there it is. Uh, they have a lot of aluminum, a little bit of fuel, a little bit of steel. That's not bad. I just don't want to deal with the resistance down there. But I could use their factories. I'm really thinking about using factories. Lots and lots of factories. Ah, Superior Fire Power, new series of comics. Great! More stability, more political power. Not overpowered whatsoever. You know what? Instead of annexing them, I'm just going to do My Little Pony and Steven Universe. Thank you. Oh, we have, we have a lot to guard down here, though. If that's the case, we're making divisions. We're doing well. We need more. Oh, I need to raise my conscription level to... We get about 1.78 political power a day. Go ahead and do My Little Pony. Would you guys do okay? Well, you need to be led by someone else. Jean? Jan? Kudlak? He has a really nice smile. Uh, I can't afford anyone else to attack, so you guys will have to suffice. Oh, I need to call all my allies in. There we go. And they happily agree. Happily. Do they have planes? They have 42, but we have more than double theirs, which is very good, very good. And I don't want to spend my own manpower right now just because I need to save it for my army. Ah, reconcile with opponents. After a few months of political struggles in the country, an election in Piotr Czeskiz to the Polish Marshal, talks with other parties began on the power side, and it was decided that the op oppositionists would act in society but were prohibited from engaging in political life. Oh, good. Thanks to this agreement, the opposition stopped aggressive attacks to the government and began to educate the society about what positives may arise from the power of the military junta. Preach the truth to my beloved. I love the handshake. And we get more stability. Great. National factories. Sounds like we're going to be building up quite a bit, and then we can get some more regional funds. Yes, please. So, we do not have sufficient military infrastructure to conduct a war. Increasing the budget for their construction and functioning should help. Now, this puts us in a weird position, because Germany is going to go to war with Austria eventually if we don't give it up to them. Which means we'll be in an early war against the Germans. Which is sometimes not ideal. Hmm. Also, like I was trying to say earlier, we're going to duplicate this. We gonna need some COSATs, Coast Guard divisions. Save that, but then you guys do not need this. Replace it with an engineer company, and I would love to take that off. Oh, this is not good. You know what? We'll deal with that in just a little bit. Since even though we don't have enough production for uh, artillery at the moment, we got plenty of guns, which is actually kind of nice. Actually, kind of nice. Let's get one thing of tungsten. Thank you. Very good. Some more support companies, fighters, motorized. That's all going to be incredibly important stuff to do. Five divisions. Taking those guys out is a little bit of a problem. That's okay. It's okay. I need to beef up these guys. Oh, some more. Wow, we got a lot more there. Nice. Ghost guards. Replace. Take it off. Oh, and I can't afford more. That's okay. We'll get enough army XP soon enough anyways. And they've been attacking me. Cool. We've lost... No one! Oh, isn't that great? We lost no one. Artillery? I love it. Fuel storage? I love it. Cool. Anything else here? Oh, let's get some armored cars. That's good for garrisons. Field hospitals sound like they could be very useful as well. Plane stuff sounds pretty good. Tactical bombers? Those sound amazing. Let's get some radar. That could help out. Maybe. God dang, look at that manpower. It's not looking good, man. I gotta increase my conscription level. Yeah, I'm going to save it to increase my conscription level. I'm going to need it. Limited conscription. Oh, we only need 112, and we get almost roughly 2 a day. 1.7 a day, but, you know, that's good enough. And then we're going to start producing a lot of military factories. You guys got this? You guys got this? You're, you're a little weak here and there. That's okay, but uh, you guys got this. I don't want to spend my political power. Can't afford it. New series of comics. Great. Great. Oh, the, the USSR sent divisions to help them out. Holy cow. They're even trying to attack me. What a bunch of crazies. Yep, we're starting to push out some divisions. How strong is Austria? Uh-oh. Portugal was annexed by Maximalist Portugal. They have a couple divisions. They should have quite a bit of manpower, but then again, we only have 30%, which isn't much. Oh, they might have 10,000 manpower. Hmm. This is really good for XP. Using someone else's divisions? Pretty good. Awesome. That's perfect. Garrison Division. Or Coast Guard Division. Yeah, I'm not using garrisons anymore since garrisons are for horses. And they're not... They're literally not even 
you can't even use them on screen. Yeah, they have be, technically all have to be used off screen. What are you guys up to? Popping them out? You should be. They're only off screens with guns. How's the Spanish Civil War? Well, it looks like the Spaniards are doing okay. <laughs> well, of course, the Spaniards would be doing okay in the Spanish Civil War. Uh, let's do that. But uh, the Republican Spanish, more like the Communist Spanish, they're doing all right. All right, we're doing okay here, too. We're not doing great, not doing perfect. You know, a few Romanian, a few Greek casualties here and there. That's not bad. A few 30,000 Austrian casualties. You know, that's okay. Ah, national factories. Now I'm going to take advantage of this and just build a ton of military factories. But military oath? Hmm. Less stability, less of war support. Less daily political power gain. More division recovery rate, monthly uh, opinion. Ideo same ideology, monthly opinion. Daily command power gain. Every leader gets politically connected, but regional funds sound like fun. With the increasing expansion of our country, we must be ready to develop our economy to prepare for our future military endeavors. Ah, oh, yes, we have arrived in Germany. And what type of cryptology are we doing? Doing okay stuff? You guys are doing spy stuff? Go ahead and go back. Literally nothing there. That's good. Let's go there. Do we get anything else here? Invest roll. No, not too much. Not too much. And let's get more manpower now, which is a very nice. Alright, you guys are doing okay. Send these guys this way. Help them out. I would like an, at, least, at least one more general. Kasper Janowski. Sure. Austria probably can't keep up this many attacks, can they? I mean, it doesn't look like they can. So the Austrian divisions have no one else to rely on once they die. Thumbs up. Carlos Spain has been annexed. Uh-oh. Military parade. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Nash oh wait, hold on. I did say I want to take advantage of that as much as fast as possible. So put you guys here. Only build it in 50 and 60% areas. Danzig would be good. 50, 50, 50, 50. I would love to keep building that, but we don't need it right now. All right, guys, have at the have at the military factory. Actually, how, how fast can we build those? So this one will be done on February 14th. So in about five weeks. That's not bad. Japan is curious. The release of Samurai Jack comic for Studio John Yan was a success, which, apart from their neighbors, was also found in Japan. Almost 40% of the printed copies of the comic are sent to them. For this reason, the Japanese government invited the directors and artists from Studio John to talk with them about the cooperation between Japanese studentami and artists from Poland. <sighs> That's right. Comic books were founded in Poland. Mmm. Very good. Oh, let the Greeks get in some of this action, this hot action stuff, you know. I do want to save my stuff. Oh, wait, Japanese studio. Oh. Get another step into the... Oh, what the hell is that? But I need more generals right now, so that I get a little bit more bonus of attacking. Maximilian? Maximilian? Maximilian. Ah, it's probably Maximilian, yeah. We do get 1.72 political power, so it isn't that bad trying to get more strength. Ah, regional funds. Good, good, good. Throw you guys right there. Next up. Marshals. Oh, this is what we want. Marshal soldiers. Indoctrination of young people will help us control their lives. They're just, we're just completely honest about it. I love it. More war support. More population. Way more war support. Holy cow. Division attack defense. Yes, please. Yes. We'll push us right over the... Okay, this is a weird timeline where Germany's trying to help out the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth take out Austria. What are we even doing? But happy 1938, my friends. Happy 1938. Hope you're having a great, great year. Uh, with our friends, especially Pieter, I think I think we're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty darn well. We got a lot of naval XP. Air XP is going up a tad bit. Army XP is going up a tad bit. Even after we've used some of it, I think we're doing pretty darn well. And I'm enjoying it. Actually, uh, I could have these guys trained. Do we have... We don't have deficits of anything. Oh. It might be time, my friends. This is not probably too optimal. But it is time to throw on another one of you guys. My apologies to the gun deficit and... Oh, that's not good. That's okay. It's going down pretty quickly, so... Ah, my allies. Yes, you all might want to be liberated. But in the end, it is, of course, 
Oh, choice. Investment infrastructure. Oh. We just researched something. We use up a civilian factory to get one infrastructure. That's okay. Add another one for two? That's not bad in 60 days. Three for military factory. Three for naval dockyard. Steven Universe. I want to do this one. Japanese Studio John. Yan. Yan. Civilian. That's okay. It's 1938. So let's go ahead and grab more research speed. That's pretty important to do. Oh, look at the Austrians. They can't really do much about this. Which is great. And let's grab one more general. Cost 45. Jesus. Pavel. 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 Does anyone have upgrades? I know I'm, I'm thrashing you guys pretty hard. But as long as the Polish people don't die, that's, that's what matters. Because we only have guns for the most part. I could be doing this a lot more optimally. But uh, I don't feel like it. Sorry. <laughs> ah, motivation's good. The proper army. Now, we do have a deficit of guns. I do want to make sure that our cavalry that we are using is stronger. It's only six combat width, which is pathetic. So we need to make them even stronger. If that's the case, better. Throw on some artillery. We can, we can definitely probably afford that. There you go. Oh, they canceled lend -Lease. What? What? You're giving me so many guns every day. It was so nice. Actually, how many losses? We take. Oh, that's a lot of losses. I should probably stop attacking like this. Oh well. More defense. Great. Who's not attacking? Who needs to attack more? You need to attack more. Go crazy. Ah, oh, there goes the anarchists. You are doing extremely well. I'm going to do that for you. Oh, let's go ahead and grab this. Thank you. We're going to need to start making some armored cars as well. Not extremely important, but just make one at a time if we can. That would be delightful. And then fighters, motorized, that's all good stuff. Okay, Graz. Very nice. Help attack over the river. You might succeed. Oh, new series of comics. Even better. Ah, marshals. Oh my god, yes. And we need... Military youth proclaim a united Europe. So we gotta do that. Military oath sounds pretty good to do. So let's do that. Currently, the army is still controlled by commanders who disagree with the reign of Marshal Chiz. Mar Marshal C. We must have tools to control those who destabilize our country. Oh, we got Coast Guards. Great. Excuse me, thank you. Awesome. Oh, you know what? That's 50 political power. I could definitely use that for something else. Go and just start guarding all these areas. And you know what? Unfortunately, we're going to have to guard all these areas down here, too. I know, quite tragic. Oh, um, uh, I could guard this area, too, I suppose. Crete. Definitely Albania and Greece. Those portions of Greece. Um, That's pretty much it. 85. Holy crud. That's going to be a lot of guys we need. So increase it. There you go. And anything else here? Greece roll of army. Infrastructure. My we can make a movie? Oh my goodness. I want the movie. I want the movie. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I could create oh the Japanese one. But I want the movie. My little pony movie. Oh yeah. And the Spanish director was an Stalinist victory in the Spanish Civil War. I'm glad I don't have to deal with that. Oh, you guys can probably help out too too, guys. Come on. Everyone together. Even though you're a defensive doctrine guy, you should be attacking way more. Uh, let you guys help out here. What do we have? Interwar armored cars. Well, we'll definitely use those guys very soon. Yeah, they're definitely hurting. Oh, man. I would love that. Non-core manpower. Uh... Oh, I want that thing, but let's just get more infantry attack and defense. That should help our guys here, too. So that actually is really smart to do. Ching Chan declared one Japan. Oh, good. Good. Help him out. Help him out. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Portugal, what are you doing? Why'd you declare war on the German Reich? What the heck? Are you communist? Oh, you are communist. Why'd you go to war with Germany? Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not good. Comment. Oh, they're all communists down there now. Um, Pact of Rome. Well, I'm glad they're doing that. Uh, we're not winning here anymore, which is really disappointing. So, you're going to do this. Yeah, almost everyone's going to stop attacking in the center. You guys are going to stop attacking. We're going to get up here next. We're going to focus on where we can win. 
Okay, hungry. Polish hungry, you stop going so crazy. Military oaths, good. Now, we're kind of stalled here. We have to have Central Europe under us first. What we could do... I want to get that research house. There's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I don't like this. But we got to go with a four-year plan. We must plan for the expansion of our infrastructure to accommodate not only our present industry, but also our future industry. Yes. Oh, military oath. Oh, we get that. Just do that now. You might as well. Uh, I'm going to say no for now. I don't want commies in my land. I don't think that would work out very well for us right now. This... Actually, we should be able to strike harder now since the Soviets have left the area. This is going to take more time. I'm sorry, I'm just killing off a lot of manpower. I can't be interested to take out Austria, but too strongly. Even though I'm sure Germany wants to annex them relatively. Oh. <clears throat> Form the Rex Commissariats. They've got Polish comics. Okay. Yeah. All right, you guys help out. Yeah, it's almost impossible fighting in mountains. Oh, I think the Greeks should be a little bit used to it. Double down, hurry up, hurry up. Um, good, very nice. We got a good amount of manpower. War sports pretty high. Political power is looking pretty good. Oh god, I can invest in factories for two months to get another one. Oh, what happened? Find a solution. Sounds like fun. I have to be a piece of annex to everyone here, though. Actually. Yeah, I still gotta go with Czechoslovakia, which they're still guaranteed by the French for some unknown reason, which I really don't agree with. Oh, wait. You guys. It's gonna be attacked right there. Great! I'm gonna need more generals. Eventually. Eventually, of course, my friends. Uh, we don't have enough guns. Probably because of all these attacks. Help them out, help them out, push them out, push them out, push them out. Now, does anyone have upgrades yet? No, that's a little disappointing. And this war is taking so long. Interventionism, focus. Okay, they went from, like, a, a lot, ton of manpower to almost none. Okay, well, whatever. Flight. Oh, God, I want... Oh, we need, we need more guns. I'm going to need a lot of guns for this. Because that will hurt our ability to gear some areas. Oh, Italy announces claims on Yugoslavian territory. Great! Yes, go to war with Yugoslavia first. So that, even though you're fighting the common turn, which I'm guarding against, basically, completely. You could go to war with the Allies. Be oh, wait, hold on. Hold the phone. Hold the flippin' phone. You're guaranteed by the fascist French. That is interesting. Ital Italy wants to go to war with Yugoslavia. It was guaranteed by the fascist French. No, it would be interesting if the fascist French... Uh oh Italy. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't afford war or the Axis yet. But let's do National Defense Fund. Yeah, let's do that one. So, citizens and states alike must contribute to the funding of our growing industry so to prepare for the perils of the years to come. Sounds kind of generic, but yeah. Sounds good. We're doing well down here. Infantry is looking pretty good. We've got a couple more things. Can I go to war economy? No, I can't. Okay, then. Elusive gentlemen. Actually, how fast am I building stuff up? Eh, it's going okay-ish. Hmm. We're gonna need, gonna need that. I want the movie so badly. Oh, yeah, guys. Help me out. Help me out. Help me. Help, help me help you. Help me. Help myself. Yeah. Get Linz. Good. We're slowly getting into Vienna. Oh, there goes Japan. They finally declared war in China. I know they want Qing China to join the common turn. That's getting weird. Chongxi, Polish, Greece. I know they want Greece. I'm sure they do. Oh, no, they want Al Oh, they want Albania. Come on, guys. Hurry up. Oh, Nation Francais joined the Axis. That's not good. That's not good. China... God dang. So basically, we're going to be stuck between the Albanians... Oh, no, no. The Axis. we got to kill the Axis. My little point... Uh, yep, yep. Movie time. Movie time! Salzburg. How much longer is Austria not going to get about 5% more? My goodness. Cancel Lend-Lease. What? You're only preparing for a war against uh, Italy. That's all. 
France realigns her foreign policy. We are betrayed again. Of course, naturally. Of course. Um, this has been good XP for us. We've lost a lot of guys. But not really us, you know. It's not really us who lost all the guys here. It is, it's our puppets, which we will annex once I get enough political power, too. No divisions, what the heck? What is that there for? Can you please kill these guys off? I mean, we, we're, we're kind of on a time crunch. Uh, we still get 1.45 political power a day, which is not bad. Please take an area. For the love of God, please push. How many Austrians live here, man? It can't be this many. There's no way. They have no manpower still. And only two factories. Uh, yeah, some uh, radar. Good. Decrypting their ciphers, which is important. Prepare a collaboration government. In oh, yeah, we want to do this. Infiltrate their ciphers. Yes. Yes. Very good. We are out of guns once again. Once again, I am asking for your support. Ah, there they go. Finally. Thank God. That took forever. Jesus. Alright, I don't like doing this, but I'm going to go ahead and start integrating Romania. Ooh, maybe not Romania. Yeah, probably Romania, because they're next to us. In 30 days, we'll have them. That being said... Is this a core of us? No, it's just an occupied state, which is fine. It doesn't really matter. Um... So, if Yugoslavia is not part of there, we have Albania. Italy will go to war with us. We're going to need a lot of coasts. Which, you know what? I'm just going to... Uh, the Greeks are pretty good soldiers. The Bulgarians are not bad. The Hungarians and Romanians are also pretty darn good. So, I'm going to tell the Bulgarians to join the Coast Guard for now. As well as the Greeks. I think that'd be definitely okay. Alright, I'm joined here with my Polish, Lithuanian, Cat Binky. You good, boy? You good? Yeah, come on. Get on the chair. Get on the chair. Uh, that should be okay for now. Wait, that's a lot of gear. Oh, wait, hold on. That's oh, the reason why we need so many garrisons is because... Oh, I have actually fewer garrison people than I need. Um, I have 18 selected. I take off 18. Take off these guys. I'm going to throw you back onto another army. That was my bad. Because... Uh, right there. Pretty good. Southern Orom. I could take out Czechoslovakia. But that just that would literally make him just join the Never mind. Never mind. Uh oh, you're politically oh come on, Casper. Oh, everyone's politically connected, that's right. Oh my god dang son. Like seriously man. Seriously man. Um I really don't trust the Italians, so I'm gonna put my guys right here. And you know what, for you know, I'm gonna take the I, you know what, I, I'm, I want to feel very impartial to the Greeks, but I'm going to feel impartial to the Romanians and Hungarians first. Throw you guys over here. Oh. Could I take out Czechoslovakia fast enough before anything gets really too bad here? You know what, I don't want to risk it. I really don't want to risk it. So, take you back off. I, I, yeah, I, I just don't want to risk it. I need everyone on the front lines because of that do that. You are going to be weird. Actually, you know what? You are actually going to guard. You're going to come down here. You're going to guard this area. These guys shouldn't break you. You all, though, are going to come right here to Czechoslovakia because I want to eat you. Nom 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 nom. Now, I don't know how strong Czechoslovakia is. Got good my manpower. They have about the same number of factories. They have less than us, though, of course. Uh, anti-commenter anti -commenter pack, yeah. To address the Comintern's final goal of spreading communism worldwide. Ah, oh, sure, if they attack me, you can help me out. Sure, yeah, well, I guess. Yeah, why not? Shisa. Big ol' Shisa. Zog Defiant. I'm at war with France now. I've lost some ships. Or oh, Soviet convoys. Uh, okay. Uh, don't do that. Go home. Hang out, you know, hang out. I don't want to go to war just yet. I want to get our guys situated first. Um, actually, we are at war with Italy already, so. Oh, yeah, non-aggression pack, yeah. So, Italy. I hear you're angry about some things. This is not good. Now I can't go to war with Czechoslovakia, which is really disappointing. Really, really disappointing. So, and instead, I'm going to put you guys right here against Germany, because I forgot about that line. Um... So we got a line against these guys, the Italians. We got a line against the Germans right there. We got our main army over here. We need to have our guys beefed up right here too. Is anyone else in the Axis that I don't know of yet? 
Not yet. Oh, wow, they're pushing hard into the common turn. It's kind of nice. I'm going to put you guys down here, just in, maybe just in case. Just in case. I think we should be able to hold everywhere else. This is going to be a little bit of a problem, but even if we lose, there's still a river that they'd have to attack us here, so that's not bad. Uh, you know, go ahead and plop out these two divisions so that we have Coast Guards on every divi every place. And before we're done, let's make sure these guys are actually stronger. Make them at least 10 combat width. Because Prussia is going to be need to be taken eventually. Make sure we got enough guys around here. Who's leading this army? Maximilian. Oh, he's actually got quite a few stats on him. Nice. You should be able to hold for quite a while. They're not that strong. we got divisions up there holding too. We'll see what happens. We will definitely see what happens. And we definitely have the coast covered, which is actually really, really nice. Ah, but we have National Defense Fund. We get a whole civilian factory. Isn't that great? But now we have to have United Europe, which is going to take a while for us to kill off certain nations. Actually, you know what? We're actually kind of cock-blocked here, because to do this, we need Czechoslovakia. Well, we can't do that because we don't have enough divisions to take them out and take out the Axis. Unless we take out the Axis first. Take out Yugoslavia, which would be fine. That's pretty much it. Czechoslovakia. So we need to build up an army for the next episode to take them out. We have 35 political power, which... Uh, I could make another civilian factory. I might just save myself, though. War propaganda. You know what? Invest in infrastructure. Two for one. Well, we're trying to build more military factories. I want Steven Universe. That's what we're going to do. And let's do one last focus. So, uh, Warsaw Main Railway Station. Warsaw is a nexus of transport and cargo. To avoid bottlenecks, extra effort is to be placed on the measurement of its railway, which we get to infrastructure. But anyways, guys, that's all the time for that we have today. We have done very, very well. We have all the Baltic states under us, which might land us in some big trouble. We took out Austria, which took forever. And our faction is looking pretty good, but we will have to do something about the Axis, which is an evil, evil organization. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow, as we will try to defend against the Germans when they inevitably attack. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.